Come on. Here, drink this. Thank you. The nurse will be here in a minute. It's, no, nurse, please. I don't want to take them away from their duties. I'm all right. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Ethan. Well, Ma, you look as pale as a ghost. Are you sure you don't want a nurse to look after you? I'm sure, son. Hey, I'll know not to argue with Mama. I'll go tell the nurse there's a false alarm. Mama, what happened? It's not like you to faint. I, uh, I, I really don't know, son. It was the heat. It's it's so warm in here. It, it must have been. It must have been the heat. No, I mean I don't know. I guess it's possible it could have been the heat. I know what it was. It wasn't the heat. I know exactly what made you faint. Luis, you know what caused Pilar to faint? I think I do. I should have realized it before. You're grieving over Sheridan's death. To hear that she died must have been a horrible shock to you. Mom. She was like a daughter to me. We know you love Sheridan Pilar. Yes, I did. I probably raised her, and I just I can't believe she's gone. Neither can I. Even after we had all the proof when the dental records and fingerprints matched the body. Even after she was cremated hoping some sort of miracle would happen and it was all a terrible mistake. My poor Sheridan. Hey, at least Teresa's home safe and sound. Yes. Thank God. I had such crazy fears when I heard about Charity's premonitions. No premonitions. What did Charity say this time? Nothing, son. Really. It was silly. I never believed it could happen anymore. You never know what Teresa, she's so impetuous. At least you're home safe and sound. You should have never gone down there in the first place. No, she shouldn't have. It's crazy to think you'd get anything decent out of Julian. The man's a pig. I know, Louise. It was a stupid idea. Well, you just stay away from him, you understand? We all know what kind of man he is. I swear if he ever touched a hair on your head, I'd kill him. 